Pat Love from Love Healing Hearts. Here to read to you Isaiah chapter 2, followed by Pat's Two Cents. We're going to read from verses 11 to 17. All right, here we go. Ready, set, go. The lofty looks of men shall be humbled, and the haughtiness of men shall be bowed down. And the Lord alone shall be exalted in that day. For the day of the Lord of hosts shall be upon everyone that is proud and lofty, and every and upon everyone that is lifted up, and he shall be brought low. And upon all the cedars of Lebanon that, that are high and lifted up, and upon all the oaks of Bashan, and upon all the high mountains, and upon all the hills that are lifted up, and upon every high tower, and upon every fenced wall, and upon all the ships of Tarshish, and upon all pleasant pictures, and the loftiness of man shall be bowed down, and the haughtiness of men shall be made low. And the Lord shall alone be exalted in that day. <laughs> wow. You know, one thing I never want to do is be on God's bad side. For those of you who feel like you're being victimized by the system, for those of you who feel like you can't seem to get a break right in through here, yeah, it may be tough going, just like it was in 2008. It was tough for a whole lot of people. But it, there's something about God. Like I said before, he has a way of leveling the playing field. There's something about shaking. Now, this is going to be a different connotation than what it usually means. When we're going through trials, there comes a shaking, and God is doing two things. He's skimming. But there's a reason why he skims, and there are usually more than one, you know, yeah, there's more than one reason for him doing so. One, when he's dealing with our flesh, our character, and our growth, those of us who are trying to live for him and have a personal relationship with him through Jesus Christ, we are still being cleansed and, and purged and purified as pure gold. So sometimes we have to go through the fiery furnace. Yeah, hate that expression, but that's what life does. Now, what that what happens then is the heat, the heat from the trials do the same thing that the heat will do in a big pot of water that's boiling a big piece of meat. After a while, you notice after after the water boils a while, the, all this scum starts coming to the top. So you skim all that off and you keep skimming it off until there's pretty much none left. Then you empty the pot and you pour in a fresh brew of water and all your seasonings and everything. Now the meat's going to be okay. However, however, now you've gotten rid of most of the impurities. Here is what God does when he's shaking the earth. Check this out. All those people that towered and lorded over you and intimidated you and, I mean, everything you could think of, this is what ends up happening. All the people that are on top, they're shaking. They feel it up there, too. Trust me. We don't feel it as much on the bottom as they do on top, like a building, all the actions upstairs. Well, listen, when all that shaking gets done, what happens is those things that are on top end up falling off and toppling down. And the higher you are, the harder you fall. However, this is what's weird. This is how God works against, miraculously, works against the uh, pull of gravity, the, the laws of nature. That's why we call them miracles. Miraculously now, all those that were at the bottom, yeah, like little roaches and little 
ants and little peons as they're seen as. All of a sudden, these nobodies, these, who's that? Where'd they come from? Something about God's shaking rises his chosen to the top. Now, we haven't seen it as much as we're going to see that. But there's coming a very close time, right before he comes. Between now and then, you're going to start seeing people of no reputation. People who nobody has heard of before. You're going to see instantaneous success. People who become world-renowned who nobody of, of, of any kind of world-renowned reputation ever heard of. But all of a sudden, we're going to start hearing about these people. You watch and see. Because God, when he says he will bring low those that are haughty and those that are proud and stiff-necked and, and, and full of idol worship, they worship their money, they worship the work of their hands, they worship, they worship their abilities and hey. I got this on my own. I pulled myself up by my own bootstraps. Ugh, scared of that. But those of us who know we need a lot of help, those of us who have no connections, those who, who don't know anybody of clout or of high reputation, those of you who, who don't know anybody with money that can get you there, in a New York minute, whether you have talent or not, like some of the others have done, you will find that God is more on your side than you ever thought, than you ever dreamed of. Then comes that scripture that we all, so we love to quote this scripture. He will do exceedingly, abundantly, above all you could ask or think according to the power that works in you. Believe big, baby. I mean believe big. Believe, I mean let your imagination soar to the universe. Do you hear me? Because God is able to do exceedingly, abundantly, above, above all you could ask or think. I mean, your little pea brain can't even fathom what God can do or how he can get it done. That's going to blow your mind too. You'll never see it coming. <laughs> Whoa, how did he do that? You know it's God when he gets through blessing you to that caliber. Oh, you will know. There'll be no if, ands, or buts anywhere in your thought processes, you will know this was the hand of God. Okay, I just want to encourage you that there's coming a day where you're going to see the powerless gain power. And you're going to see the worthless become valuable to, to civilization itself. And you're going to see people who nobody knew having supernatural knowledge that the ones that are supposed to know end up having to seek after. I, I, I mean, God knows how to let the world know who God really is. And he usually works through people and nature. So don't get shaken up by the shaken. Start looking up, because your redemption draweth not. It draws real close. It's, it's right, on, right on the brink. But know that God is getting ready to show himself strong and mighty. And you stay on his good side. You keep your ear peeled to him. Some of you may come up with instantaneous inventions, that the scientists and the specialists and the experts couldn't conjure up if they 
if 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 they did all kind of magic potions and 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 sealed a deal with the devil, they couldn't come up with it. With all their degrees and all their credentials and all their expertise. But God can drop a thought on a little kid or a little high school or 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 a senior citizen that's that's uh that's got one foot on the banana peel and the other foot maybe not in the grave but in the rocking chair. And boom, light comes on. Oh, they get an idea. And if they run with it, baby, it's all going to be good for everybody. So keep your ears open. Inventions, ideas, witty inventions, all kind of gadgetry, all kind of things can start coming to your mind that will do people good, not just a money maker, even though it will benefit. But this will benefit people as well. God knows how to do that. He knows how to bring down and he knows how to promote. And what God promotes, can't nobody bring down, baby. They cannot pull you down. They can't stop you. They can't block you. If you can't get to the office, the man in that office will get to you in the parking lot. Something will happen. But God knows how to give you a divine appointment. You hear me? So don't you sit there and give up. Don't sit there and lose hope because you can't figure out how to get your idea there. You can't figure out how to make the right connection. You don't know the right people. You don't have any phone numbers. You don't have any clicks. You, nobody's pulling for you. you. All you need is one. G-O-D. That's all you need. He's got the rest covered for you. I'm done on that. Don't you give up. You keep working that thing, praying over it, working. I don't know what I'm talking about or who I'm talking to, but that's what I feel like saying. You keep working that thing. Don't you dare. Don't give up now. God is going to be your threshold, not man. But he will use man and he will strategically place them. Even if you got a, you have a, um, um, a, what do they call it, a fender bender to run into the person you need to run into. God knows how to hook people up. Now you trust him and you know that his works are true. He's not playing sight games. What he's going to do, he's going to do. He will get, get the job done. You watch. You keep plugging at it. You keep plugging at it. God bless you. God bless you with, with all, I mean, with all God can give you. God bless you with connections. God bless you with, with witty ideas. God bless you with instantaneous understanding. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. And God bless you to work it with all the help you need. In the name of Jesus, amen.